We're out here at Heritage Farms. We're three weeks into harvest. We're in various stages of harvest on these things. Some of them have been harvested for tops already for smokable flour. Some have been harvested for fresh frozen. We'll make live resin, live rosin. And then some of them are getting harvested for biomass. That means we're gonna juice it, turn it into THC distillate. That's the kind of stuff you see in vape pens. It goes into edibles, making isolate, all that kind of post-processed products. We have one weight team that's weighing into thousand gram buckets, and then they're taking those buckets to the other team. That team is bagging them up into thousand gram bags, and then they're off to the vacuum seal team, and then. Uh, set them in these bad boys right here for a flash freeze takes about 40 minutes to an hour and then off to our freezers for long term these whole plants here have been chopped they're going to get hung up in that dry trailer right there they'll be dried in three to four days and turned into biomass for distillate production so these guys are bucking down the biomass so we dry the plants whole in the trailers here then once they're dry we have this machine here it's got these rubber fingers it strips all the plant material off the stalks and then we process just the plant material, we recycle the stalks, we chew it up and uh, put it for compost. This is a dry building. We chop the plants down to individual branches. We hang them up on these racks here. They dry for 10 days, give or take. We keep them at 60 degrees and 55% humidity. That allows the plant material to dry out slowly. Also maintains the terpenes, all the oils that are in the plant. We want to keep those. That's where you get the taste and the good smoke from. This is our processing facility. This is where we take the biomass that we've just dried. We pack it in columns and then we bring it in here to the extraction room where we have a BHO system. We run negative 40 degree butane through it and that allows us to pull out the THC and the oils that are inside the plant. That product turns into crude and the crude is then taken over here into the distillation room where we distill it down into distillate. This is the science room where, where scientific guys do scientific stuff. That's the distillation process. I couldn't really tell you what exactly they're doing. They got all kinds of scientific type equipment in there. Got German names on it. I can't read them, but it's definitely some very advanced type shit that you want to know about. Um, and if you're more interested in it, you can Google somebody else and they can tell you all about it. So as you can see, there's a lot that goes on here. We got this farm three years ago now, the end of 2019, just a straight patch of dirt. We've built all these buildings here. We've set up all the equipment, started all the processes, and been a, a labor of love for sure, a really large project. We're really excited with this year's harvest, and we can't wait to put out some products for everyone to enjoy here, 2022 and 2023.